Hey everyone, Sunshine here, your favorite personal trainer. To the channel fitness girl fun sunshine here today i just want to update everyone on my new workout regimen my new eating habits my current diet regimen what i've been eating and new updates on that new fitness girl fun website i currently work out or i go to the gym about five days out of the week um, my workouts are mainly full body workouts, all right? I usually hit all muscle groups. They last, my workouts, they last for about an hour. And when it comes to my diet, my diet regimen, um, I just want to talk about food for a minute and the warfare on food. I feel right now the times that we are living in, but I do know for a fact that when it comes to these farms producing some of the meats that we eat or the meats that they sell in the stores and the supermarkets, these meats already from the beginning, the way they were produced, the way that they feed. I realized that when I would eat a lot of these same foods, like fried foods, um, you know, your local diners that sell like fried chicken or like, you know, uh, chicken sandwiches, fast food, things like that. I noticed that lately when I would eat like fast food and things, I would have like a really, really, really bad stomach ache, right? And I wouldn't want to eat for the rest of the day. Like I would have like this pain come over me or come over my stomach. I will not want to eat anything because my stomach would hurt so bad from the food. And um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. I'm going to link it below in the description box. I made a post a couple months ago talking about food and the warfare on food already with us having food shortages. And who knows or who has been knowing me knows that I don't eat pork for over 10 years now and usually when I would substitute pork I usually would substitute it with like turkey or chicken you know or sometimes I would eat seafood here and there but but as of late and I really do truly believe that these companies and a lot of these farms they're doing whatever they have to do in order to cut costs and to keep things cheaper all right because things have went up in price and in labor with inflation and everything going on. So I already knew it would be warfare on food and to already add insults to injury, um, these farms were already not the cleanest and not the sanitary already to begin with prior to COVID and prior to food shortages, all right? So it's just better to eat a plant-based diet. It's better on your body to eat a plant-based diet in the long run. And as you get older, the system, you're able to get more minerals in, more of those vitamins that your body desperately needs. Is that I decided to go back vegan or eat plant-based is because I just felt better. Um, I'm somebody that doesn't like to eat a lot of junk anyway. I love fruits, I love veggies, so it was an easy thing for me to do. It was an easy transition. At this point, I've been eating a all plant-based or vegan diet for about two months, 60 days now, all right? And I was vegan about five years ago, and I first discovered Dr. Sebi, our great elder, about 10 years ago. And when I first discovered and I learned about Dr. Sebi, I was so inspired. I was so... 
moves to change my own life and to change my own diet and my own eating habits. And I remember when I first went vegan, it was so overwhelming for me because, you know, um, where we live in a world full of fast food everywhere, it's so tempting, it's so good, it's so convenient. And a lot of these places really don't offer healthier options, all right? The American or European diet is uh, not the best diet at all. So when I first discovered Dr. Sebi and his teachings and um, everything he had to offer, I was immediately, immediately moved to change my own life and my own eating habits, all right? So now I got some books here. I decided to go to my local library and I got some vegan cookbooks here that um, have special vegan recipes that you can try at home. If you want to try something new, this book right here is called Hashtag Eat Meatless. I have this book, it's called Mouthwatering Vegan. And last but not least, this book also, which is called The Vegan Lunch Box Around the World, okay? And you can also go online. They have plenty of vegan recipes or vegetarian recipes that you can find online. I will admit, since I've had a plant-based diet, I've had more energy. My thoughts are clearer. Um, I can think better. I'm able to be more productive throughout the day. And it's just something that I totally recommend to everyone. Even if you're just able to go on a plant-based diet for a short period of time, for a week, two weeks, 30 days, it's something that I really recommend, right? Because this will able, this will um, restart or re or jump your body or your digestive system from the meat and all the chemicals and the food and the pesticides and the meat that we do consume, all right? That makes me wanna segue into the herbal detox tea, which we do sell on the website. Okay, this tea contains some of the best essential herbs to flush your body of toxins, impurities, and waste. These herbs are powerful and detox your body fully giving you a boost of energy, all right? So it's good for your digestive system. Um, it's good for intestinal worms as well and candida, all right? I recommend everyone detox and fast as it's great for your digestive system. Your digestive system is the waste basket of your body. So imagine never changing your garbage. Imagine never taking your garbage out. That's the same way you should treat your colon or your digestive system. You can take the seven day detox tea challenge. It does come with 21 tea bags. All right. And I will link that website below in the description box where you can purchase this tea while herbs and supplies, make sure you get your tea while supplies last. And don't forget to check out our new updated workout guides and workout plans, all right? I'll link everything below. Peace.